Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or, if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the leaders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation, Naboth has cursed God and king. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord. Attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. 
You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Please stand. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ngayong araw po na ito, June 13, pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ni San Antonio de Padua. Siya po ay isa sa mga magigiting na santo, no? doctor of the church. Pero mas kilala natin siya tuwing kailan. Kapag may mga nawawalang gamit, ano? Sabi nila, kapag may hinahanap ka daw na, ga na gamit, no? kung ikaw ay medyo aligaga na at natataranta, no? you pause for a while no? and pray as the intercession of St. Anthony of Padua and more or less, no, malaki ang chance na mahanap mo yung hinahanap mo. Ito siguro um, um, as opposed doon sa madalas na niririn natin sa ating mga nanay, di ba? Kapag may hinahanap ka. No? Kapag may hinahanap, anong sabi ng nanay natin? Mata ang ginagamit, hindi bibig. Ano? Pause for a while and pray to St. Anthony of Padua. And more or less, no, there's a big chance that you will find what you are looking for. No? Sa ating pagninilay ngayon, no, maganda sigurong pagnilayan natin ang temang pagkawala no, at paghahanap. No? Kaya siguro magandang tanungin natin sa ating mga sarili, no? ano bang madalas na nawawala sa atin ngayon? in reference to our gospel reading. Narinig natin sa ating ebanghelyo something that is somehow medyo very challenging bilang mga Kristiyano. Narinig natin sa, una, sa ating ebanghelyo yung old mosaic law, lex talionis. Ano tong lex talionis, Father? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Kapag ikaw ay sinampal, edi sampalin mo rin. Kapag ikaw ay ninakawan, ay eh dinakawan mo rin. Yun ang mosaiklo dati, no? Para patas lang, di ba? Patas lang, no? Sabi pa nga nila, no? Kapag ang aso nga father, eh, di ba? Kapag inapakan mo yung buntot, 
Ano mangyayari? Kagagating ka rin, no? Kaya yun usually ang nagiging rason, no? Justification ng iba kung bakit sila gaganti. Pero Jesus reminds us today, no? Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes on your right cheek, turn the other way. If anyone wants to get your tunic, kukunin ang isa mong damit, ibigay mo pa ang isa. Kapag may nanghingi sa'yo ng pabor and giving a service one mile, asking you for a service for one mile, gawin mong dalawa. Ano ba ang pilit na tinuturo sa atin dito ni Jesus? You see, my dear brothers and sisters, the action of other people is actually theirs, not yours. But how you respond to that situation is where you can find ano ba ang pinahahalagahan mo. You get what I mean? No? Kung evil ang ibang tao, the invitation of that evil one is to make you evil also. Kapag nilibak ka ng ibang tao, ang magiging naturalesa na respond mo ay magalit din, manlibak din, gumante din. Pero no. The challenge is, just like St. Anthony, pause. Hanapin mo kung ano ang pinahahalagahan mo. Hanapin mo ang Christian value mo. At huwag kang papatrigger doon sa nag-trigger sa'yo. Maliwanag in the last part, no? Christian service is going out, no? What I mean is, parang um, it is a sign that it is an action coming out from you, no? Hindi yung parang you are simply mirroring, no? The ugali ng iba, no? Kasi pag minirror mo lang ugali ng iba, anong tawag sa'yo? Parang bata ka lang, di ba? Yung mga bata, may hilig mag, gaya, gaya, no? Walang maturity yun, no? Walang maturity yung mga taong nagagaya-gaya. Kaya bilang mga Kristiyano, bilang mga takasunod ni si Kristo, of course, natitrigger tayo. No? Of course, nagagalit din tayo. No? But our response should always be in reference to how Jesus would like us to respond to the situation. Dahil ang pinanguhugutan natin ng ating tugon ay hindi kung ano yung na-experience natin. If you are to choose between being right and being kind, sabi naman dapat, Father, no? dapat nasa batas lang tayo, dapat may hustisya. No? Dapat gumante. No? If you are to choose between being kind and being right, choose always to be kind. And you will always be right. That is the way of our Christian teaching, Christian discipleship. And through the intercession of St. Anthony of Padua, nawa yun ho sana ang ating hilingin ngayon, hanapin natin yung tagpo na tayo ay nagpo-pause kapag tayo ay natitrigger. Balikan natin ang ating pinanghuhugutan bilang mga Kristiyano. Huwag tayong gumaya lang doon sa nag-trigger sa atin. Ito ang totoong pagsunod kay Jesus. Sa pamamagitan ng panalangin na San Antonio, nawa magawa natin ito. 
ang maging mabuti palagi sa gitna ng mga pagsubok at mga experience natin sa buhay. Amen. Please stand. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that His merciful love may mark our attitude towards everyone. In every prayer we will say, Father, perfect us in your love. Father, perfect us in your love that as God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's law of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love, that we may forgive our enemies and those who may have hurt or wronged us in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love, that we may do away with division and selfishness and that we may overcome evil by goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love, that those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the, the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love, that our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Lord of all people, as we pray for these intentions, help us to grow together and help us overcome hostility and conflict. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Antony of Padua, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Anthony of Padua, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony of Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on, earth on earth as it is, it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal choice that, as a faithful steward, blessed Anthony of Padua came to deserve through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you glory for the gift of bread, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and source of our daily nourishment. Bless this bread in honor of St. Anthony. Teach us to share all your gifts with the poor, the forsaken, and the hungry. All praise be to, your, to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.